Well, as I promised just before the break, we're back here. Now we're in the music room at uh, Central Collegiate, and we're talking to an exchange student uh, who's going to tell us all about what it's like to be in Canada. And also, as a bonus, Glenn Hagel, who happens to be Fiola Bento's host family, yep. is going to talk about um, the exchange program and something new. That, uh, I don't know if it's new, but it's a, it's a, a part of the program that you want people to know about. So, Glenn, welcome. Well, good to be here, and particularly good to be here with Fiola. Yeah. And Fiola, welcome here to uh, Shaw TV. I want you to know that we'll talk about it afterwards, but this actually goes on YouTube, and your folks oh. can watch it back home. <laughs> well, that's good, yeah. I think. <laughs> so you, you. you're here for, uh, for a year? Yes, I'm here for a year. From? Brazil. Yeah, go Brazil! <laughs> World Cup's coming. <laughs> yes, yes, it's coming, and I will still be here when the World Cup's happening there, which is sad, but... Yeah, because you know, the World Cup doesn't come to every country every year. Yeah, no. no, actually, this is the first time that it's happening down there in South America, so I'm pretty happy about it. Yeah. When does that happen? It happens in June. And you're still here till... Uh, August. August, yeah. yeah. So, let's talk about being a Rotary Exchange student in Brazil. How did you get chosen to be in, in you know, what does it mean to be a, a, a participant in the program? Well, I got chosen, uh, we had this huge test and there were 98 people trying for it and we had three spots to Canada. So it was a really huge test and I really wanted to come to Canada. So it was crazy when I actually got the spot and it was the last spot. So it was, I was really, really happy. That Why did you want to come to Canada? Well, first of all, I really wanted to see snow. <laughs> Still want to see snow? Yes, actually, yes. I don't want it to go back to just end. Yeah. I, ah, I love the snow. And I wanted to improve my English, of course. And I have this friend that he came to Canada and he talked about Canada to me and I just, I was, impressed about everything and about the culture and so yes I really want to come here. well you, if somebody wants to, to see snow and you want to improve your english because your native tongue is portuguese yes exactly which is the language of brazil but uh, and people, a lot of people think well it's latin america it's latin but it's not <laughs> yeah everybody thinks it's spanish yeah. like they, they come to ask me so you speak spanish right uh no Oh, so you speak Brazilian? <laughs> what, is that even language? <laughs> no. <laughs> so yeah, we are the only Portuguese uh, country in Latin America, so. Now your country that uh, uh, you come from is, uh, was at one time a colony. Yes. Uh, but you have very interesting, you built a capital city. It used to be La Paz and then only, we're gonna make a new one, Brasilia. <laughs> Yes, yes, exactly. So before Brasilia, we had Rio de Janeiro as a capital and stuff, but we built Brasilia and it's actually like a plane. So if you go in a helicopter and see Brasilia, you see that it's actually like a plane. So it was, it's, it's really awesome. I never went there. My mom went there and she said that it's huge. It's like Saskatchewan, like you can see really far because it's really flat there. So it's really impressive. Wow, and, and uh, where, whereabouts are you from in Brazil? Uh, I'm from the state of Sao Paulo, and my city actually it's close to the city of Sao Paulo. So if I drive for two and a half hours, I arrive in the big city of Sao Paulo, but my city it's uh, as small as Muzja. Actually, we have the same amount of people. Yeah even though I have more stuff to do here. <laughs> well, that's great. Now, Glenn, you've been involved with Rotary for many years, and uh, uh, right now your wife is president of the, uh, the Wacomal Rotary. And uh, so, you know, it's been a big thing for you to be involved in, in this project. You've been a host. Your daughter has right. been able to participate in it. Yeah. Tell me about uh, the exchange program from your perspective. Oh, this is... Uh one of the one of the uh, I think highest profile rotary programs around the world, and uh, it's really intended to provide people like Fiola at that age the opportunity to see the world, and really the, the opportunity to become citizens of the world, um, and to see uh, to broaden 
their, um, uh, their perspectives. And I think the reality is that what happens, uh, certainly from students that uh, go from Musha to other parts of the world or come from other parts of the world to Musha, inevitably what happens is that uh, when the student comes home, um, they often find themselves feeling more proud than they've ever felt of their native citizenship. Mm -hmm. Uh, consider themselves to be literally citizens of the world because they've made friends not only uh, with the families they've lived with and students in the school they go to, but other uh, students from around the world who have come to that part of Canada. Mm -hmm. uh, Fiola has made a number of friends from around the world mm -hmm. since she's been here. But also what ends up happening is that no matter what path they choose, because they've had this mind broadening experience, uh, inevitably they become leaders in their own chosen paths. Mm -hmm. And I think it's largely because their perspective is, br is broader and they can see the big picture. And there is a real sense of maturity that happens as a result of that experience. Yeah. Now, Fiola, he mentioned uh, you made a few friends. Well, your jacket has got <laughs> yes. to be a testament to that. Tell me, tell us about this jacket, this special jacket you have. Yes, so this is my rotary jacket and each pin here has a story. It's a person that I met from around the world. So a person that came to Brazil before I came here or a, per a person that I met here and gave me a pin from their country. This is the special one. You explain this. Yes. <laughs> so I have a cup of coffee of Tim Hortons. Yeah, I have. <laughs> Actually, it's a Christmas um, decoration. decoration. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it's it's heavy though. Uh, my host family, not Glenn, but my first host mom, Brenda. Yeah. She gave me as a Christmas present. Yeah. That's wonderful. <laughs> and and um, when you came here, as Glenn was saying, about the exposures, what things have you experienced in Canada that you would never have had the opportunity to do in Brazil? Well, uh, this school here is very different. So being in choir, being in band, that I wouldn't happen in my school. Uh, I, I I skated here. <laughs> Did you I, fall down at all? Uh, yes, actually. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Uh, so I fall? went, yes, it yeah. felt, um, I can we'll fix it, it later, yeah. but I went skiing, that was really, really awesome. Uh, Did you fall? Well, I fell, but it was just once, actually. Okay. <laughs> and we were the whole day on the, on the hill, and we actually, me and my friend from Brazil, too, we were the last ones to get out of the hill, and yeah, <laughs> it was really perfect. And what have you found? Do you, those are obviously the highlights for you. Um, was there anything that you found kind of disconcerting while you're here? You're going like, oh, I'm not sure. Uh, actually, no, because uh, the life here, it's not much different from Brazil. Other than the temperature never goes below minus four. Yes. Right? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. The temperature, it's crazy. When it was minus 38 here in my city, it was 38 above. And I was like, this is not possible. <laughs> and you were alive, which is probably the weird Yes, the yes. After minus 40, when the temperature came back to minus 20, and I was outside, and I was like, oh, yeah, this feels nice. <laughs> it feels nice. <laughs> but <laughs> what? This is completely crazy. Yeah, that's <laughs> great. Now, Glenn, you were saying that, telling me when we were talking, uh, arranging the interview, there's a program that the Rotary is working on that they want to expand uh, to, for international exchanges. Or, or right. So tell me about that. Are you talking about the Interact? I am. Yes. Uh, one of the things that we're uh, looking at uh, for the Musha Wakama Club is uh, forming uh, what's called a, a Rotary Interact Club. Uh, and it's intended for young people who are under up to the age of 18 and uh, who can can get the rotary kind of experience but with their peers and there are um, literally I'm, I'm sure the exact number but literally thousands of interact clubs around the world that uh, if we get a club going here in Moose Jaw uh, that they can connect with it's a requirement of the club every year that they have to do two projects 
One has to be a local project, something to make the local community a little bit better, and the other has to be an international project to make their world a little bit better place. Uh, very much consistent with the Rotary theme of service above self, and uh, in the context not only of your local community, but the world in which you live. And uh, so that's something we're exploring with uh, young people, and we're very interested if there are Moose Jaw young people who are uh, 18 or younger, who would like to be uh, in a club with other people who care about their world and would like to have some contact not only uh, in terms of making a difference here in Moose Jaw, but also with another part of the world. And oftentimes uh, when Interact clubs uh, do international projects, they, they uh, partner with an Interact club in a different country. And so it's a way of getting a little bit of international real experience, being part of building a better world, and that's and, really what it's all about. And how can they be, if they're interested in that kind of thing, uh, how do they contact you? Uh, the best thing they can do is uh, just simply let any of the members of the Musha Wakama Club uh, know that they would find that interesting. I'm happy to uh, you know, certainly be a contact. There are several of us uh, in the club uh, that uh, have committed ourselves to being a part of uh, mentoring and supporting an interact club uh, if we get one going here in Musha. Okay, well, thanks. And maybe when you go home, you might think about that. And, help, and, promote, and helping people? Do, do they have Interact in, in your... Uh... Yeah, actually, yes. Uh, we just started an Interact club in my city. So it was fairly new. And I was part of it, of course. And when, when I come back, I won't be able to be part no, of Interact be because I'm too old, ex exactly. But uh, yes, I, I, I want to be part of Rotary when I come back. Okay. Do you think, uh, Fiola, that uh, Interact Club uh, involvement often leads to an interest to become an exchange student? Actually, yes. Uh, when I was in Interact and my other three friends were an exchange, they were exchange students too. And we were all in Interact. And actually, we, um, we kind of, Oh, I forgot the word how to say. I don't know. <laughs> we, we decided we wanted to be there. Wanted to do this. Wanted no, to uh, the other people that were yeah. in Interact, they wanted to know more about the exchange mm -hmm. student program so that they could actually be part of it too. Mm -hmm. So they went to go to Interact without knowing about the exchange program. And mm -hmm. when, they, when we were there and we were going to be exchange students, we just got to tell them about the program and everything so it was really well, that's really good nice. now when you go at this summer you're going to be here till august you're going to be able to experience 38 here and you can see how it compares to 38 back there in your in, back in brazil thank you for taking time to come today because you got choir to go to right after this yes don't? yes i have the vocal jazz yeah. <laughs> and glenn thanks you for taking time to come down and tell us about that. my pleasure thanks for allowing us to tell a bit of the rotary story and uh, introduce viola to her home community yeah for sure well yes. thanks to my guests for being here and thanks to you for watching we'll see you again soon on moose jaw this week